Uh, good morning to Academy of Ocean Professor of Instructor Engineers. Uh, my name is Mr. Ochet. Uh, today, we want to show you the error you may encounter when doing your um, slab and beam raft uh, design. So, we have done the part one of this uh, video, which is the error one that you may encounter and how to correct that, which is very, very important. So, today, we want to show you the error two that you may encounter in the course of your beam raft uh, design. So, I will set that. Let's now see how that can be can be done. Okay, looking at this structure. So let's see. Let me go to my foundation plan. So you can see I've deleted uh, some slabs here. So and you know that when you're talking about a beam raft, it's called it's a combination of a beams and what and slabs. So and how the slab slabs are to be inserted, that has been done in the part one of this video. So now looking at this, I want to say that sit tight and watch what is going to happen because of this uh, video. So and how to do it. To correct it, either to correct or to ignore. So all of this will be made known in the course of this video. So now looking at this, I've deleted this one. So let me now take this. Okay, let me take the first of this. Okay, looking at this, the depth of this slab is what is a uh, two hundred. So I want to change it to what to one hundred, to one hundred. And let's see. So I'm going to insert my one hundred here, one hundred uh, slab thickness. So let me see. Confirm. Okay, it's okay. okay. All right. So have we done this? <coughs> How we done this? The slab strip is what I still there. So let me just remove this and insert it. Let me remove it and insert. Okay. Let me remove this and insert. So now I'll come to my slab, uh, concrete cell slab. Click on my slab strip and also take my FE strip. So uh, this direction up to four. And also I'm starting from X direction. Okay. Let me five. Okay. I'll come to this place. Click here. Press my control key to make it straight. I think then in my y direction of the same part, so with the same pop to pop, I will take from here to this place and also from here because it's from pop to pop to this place. Good and fine. Yes, that I haven't done that. Then I will close this. I will close this. I have to reanalyze again. First of all, I have to reanalyze and design. So let me switch for a bit. Let's come up. Okay, I will click on what analysis and then click on this. Then select this, this, and this, and then continue with this. So let's wait for it and see the analysis. Let's finish analyzing and design so that we can proceed to um, beam raft design. So it's now it's on column. So let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. Okay, still on the column. In case you're not subscribed to our video, I want to say you subscribe so that you can have access to all our videos. Once the moment they are being posted, you'll be notified. So that is that. Okay, let's watch and see. It's already on a beam. Okay, so let's wait for it. What's going on? Let's wait for it. All right, as you can see, it has finished uh, analyzing and design. So what do I do? I'll click on one and OK, and then click on close. Yes, that one has been done. So now, if I go to check, if I go and check now, let's check our 3D. OK, let's check our design status. Um, OK, I click on this. Let me put this one here. So you can see, it has finished analyzing now what? And designing. So the next thing I'll just do, let me go back to the normal. None. OK, and go back to my foundation. All right, I will done this. The next thing I'll click on what? On my finite element raft foundation analysis. Once I click on this, OK, sorry. I'll click on this uh, finite element uh, raft analysis and design. So I click on what on this. I haven't checked all of this. Then I click on what on last foundation mesh analysis. Yes, I want to analyze. All right, let's wait for it. Let's come up. So let's wait for it. It's coming up. It doesn't come up. Yes, very good. So now I will go into this place. You click on what on generate model and let's wait for it. And okay, I'm going to show you the error now. We are about we are approaching the error that you may encounter and what to do at that uh, point. So it's very very important so that when you encounter such a problem, you will not be confused. You have confidence that yes, what you are doing is perfectly okay. And why you need to do what you are doing, everything will be made known. Okay, then next thing I do, I'll click on close, then wait for it to come up so that automatically the system will take you towards post analysis, processing, and what and report. So let's wait for it to come up. Is that okay, so don't click on this place, just wait for it because once you click on close, but you can see it's calculating the member result. Please you see what please wait. So you have to wait. So that is that. Let's wait for it to come up. Okay. In case you have not joined the academic group, I want to say you should join because it's a place where by in the course of your design, if you encounter any problem, you can post it there and before you know it, any engineers who are professional in terms of structural design can quickly respond to you. In fact, any other aspect of design that uh, you are get you got confused and be posted and before you know it, other engineers will do what we respond to you. So then having done that, then you may get to this place. What's your allow resource stress is 80. Is 80 so I'll now come to this one called analysis post processing. So let's wait for it. Okay, we are about to enter the place where we are the errors. So let's wait for it. Let's wait for it to come up. 
okay so let's wait for it okay all right here we are here we are so when you get to this place click on what standard control and now we want to start the work so now you start your loading you have to load all of this when um bend moment bend moment mx my mxy all of them you have to load them into this lab is that okay so now on this direction okay let's click okay the next one okay the next one okay also on this uh, bend moment on this other direction m1 m2 and m1 and 2 so let's click on it okay design moment at the bottom direction one design moment at the bottom direction two design moment at direction one top design moment at direction two top now this is the place is that okay and this place is always it tests you show an error let me click on it good you can see the error here now now the moment these errors appear on this place here that we're talking about is telling you that your slab thickness is not sufficient are you grabbing saying your slab thickness is not sufficient and since it's not sufficient you might be tempted to go and load and keep on increasing and note that your maximum depth for your slab is what is 200 by the time you are using 100 for example it's showing you this you can go and increase by the time you are using the what do you call it um one few, uh, 175 and it's still showing you this you can go and increase to 200 but when you enter 200 slab thickness and it's showing you still showing you this are you with me and it's showing you this and you have entered the maximum depth of slab for this which is 200 then don't be sorry don't be disturbed you can look at what on okay and see what can still proceed you know why you need to proceed is because if you look at the structure which by the time i go back i'm going to explain more if you look at this structure you discover that the load that is coming is not being carried by the slab because your slab is at the top i guess i'm saying let me just proceed then i'm going to explain this if you can okay i also continue okay on this one on this one at the top okay the top is okay and on this direction is not okay all right so i'll click on this then i'll confirm this one also soil pressure all of these have been explained in part one is that okay now you can see those errors now so you discover that i still i still proceed let's assume it's 200 i have to what to see proceed my what my loading is that okay so let's now see let's see let's see let's see it's coming up very very important let's wait for it and see very important is that okay very very important okay very soon okay you can see you can see the total load at worst condition is what 82 is that okay it's 82 you can see it here you can see 82 isn't it and if you look at this 82 this is the total load of the structure at worst condition but if you look at our soil what it can carry is what 112 112 isn't it 112 so this 112 is higher than what than the worst condition of our structure which means that this soil with this structure is what perfectly okay so i'll now click on what i'll now click on close and once i click on close i'll click on what on okay so and wait for it is that okay so you have seen those errors now and we ignore ignore them and what and continue then i'm now going to explain why it can be what they can be ignored by the time we get to the 3d of this uh, structure is that okay so let's wait for you see transferring slab strip results strip what at uh, strip x x4 now that's where we are now so let's wait for it let's wait for it to so come up is that okay on y1 y2 so very soon to enter y3 or so so let's wait for it now y3 okay very soon it will we will soon finish so let's just hold on for it is that okay i have to show you all of this i don't want to pause i have to show you all of this so that you get to understand more is that okay and apart from that there are so many other things which i will have shown you but i will say if you enroll to our academic leadership class whereby you learn more when it's come to structural design is that okay we just want to tell you this why and why not is that okay so looking at this looking at this at this point you click on what on transfer foundation beam results as you can see you see my life resource stress 1.4 1.4 tech uh, 1.4 and checks with what based on this pressure so i'm not clicking on what transfer beam result i click on it so you can now see Foundation beam finite element result are what transferred. So I'm not clicking on what on close. Now let me now take you to 3D. How to get your reinforcement and all of that have been done in part one. So try and watch the part one of this uh, of this video. So I'll now come to this place. Now here I want to explain why you can that uh, error can be ignored. Now if you look at this structure, looking at this, you notice that when in terms of load transfer, your load is being transferred from your beam to your column, isn't it? Now this beam, the load is being divided into two part comes here part comes here and come to this place this load is divided into two sorry this one is divided into two part comes here part comes here isn't it so now for this column now half of this place is coming here half of this place is coming here and it's been taken to this place and i'm getting to this place half of this one come here half of this one comes here which means at this point load increases isn't it now as it's coming you now notice that at this point here at this point here this place you discover that it's not this slab that is carrying this air uh, that is holding this air uh, um column that is bringing the load what is holding this column that is bringing the load from up is what is this beam 
So use it now. So that error is what that's why that error can be ignored because what this one is carrying is just a um uh, what do you call it a partition load or um what do you call it life load, isn't it? So and with that depth thickness is perfectly okay for any thing. Is that okay? So but in this case you discover that it is this beam that is carrying this uh, this column. So it's not a slab. So that is why that thickness of slab, the moment you have entered the maximum, which is 200, and still showing you that error, you can ignore it. Is that okay? That is that. But in a situation whereby these particular slabs that we are talking about, they are not because if you look at it, they are at the top of this beam. Isn't it? The slab, this slab is at the top of this beam. So but that's why it can be ignored. But the moment this your slab is not at the top of this beam, but it's at the base of this column, sorry, of this beam, which then means that it is this slab that is carrying this beam. Automatically, in such case, you can never and will never ignore that error. This is now because the load is being carried by what? By the slab. You get the point now. So that is that. I repeat, if this slab is one at the bottom, do you see why we ignore it? Is because the slab is at the top of this beam. And I have explained why it's not being, it can be ignored. But in a situation whereby this particular slab, all of your slab are at the bottom of this beam, ground beam, automatically you should know that it is this beam that is carrying the load. Because as the load is coming, what happened? All of them have been rested on what? On this slab. So it is this slab that is now carrying it. So on that, on that, in that case, you, are, you can never and will never ignore such error. You have to increase it. Is that okay? So that is, a, that, is that. So you can now see, because if you look at all of them, if you look at this side too, you see, it's not this cold, it's not this uh, slab that is carrying this. It's not this, uh, what do you call it? Um, it's not this slab that's also carrying this. And it's not this, uh, this slab here. This slab here, that is what? That is carrying this air. Uh, oh, it is the beam that is what? That is carrying this air. Uh, this uh, load that's coming from what? From the top floor to the what? To the ground. Is that okay? So that is why this kind of error can be what? Can be ignored. Is that okay? So these are the second part of this video when it comes to error encounter during a beam raft air foundation. Thank you very much. Wait for us to see the last error that you might encounter in the, in the, in the course of a beam raft air foundation. Thank you very much. Till I see you next time. Goodbye.